She didn't want us to leave and she was persistently following us. We were on Christmas vacation. We went for a walk. We noticed a feral colony. She was the only cat that wasn't afraid of us and instantly approached us. She was living uh, actually next to some garbage bins and she would just go inside and eat out of them. We put out food for all the cats and it was obvious that she had quite a personality. She was very friendly and uh, cuddly. She was acting like she has known us forever. We picked her up and she was like really comfortable in her car. There was a lot of trust already there. From the moment we entered the house, she made herself at home immediately. Gave her a bath, she was full of fleas. She was pouring a lot. And suddenly, she just wouldn't move. She wanted to sleep all day. I'm like, is the cat broken? Why doesn't she play? <laughs> the next day, she was much worse. She wouldn't eat and uh, we panicked. She had an upper respiratory infection. She took antibiotics for 50 days. She gradually gained her energy back. She transformed into a totally different uh, cat after she became better. She is so demanding and she wants to play all day and night. If she wants to play, we have to play. She's doing a crab dancing all day long. Time to show that now it's time to play. Out of nowhere, we just look at her and she goes like, mm. and she expects us to go and hunt her down. If we don't, she comes back, she does the crab dancing again, and uh, that can go on for hours because she doesn't get tired. She's like a comedian. She will always do something funny and, and we're gonna crack laughing. <laughs> She's a bit wild. But that's the thing we like about her. A bit of craziness there for sure. But she's also very affectionate. And she's very attached to us. I think she recognizes that uh, we saved her life. I think we are very lucky for having her around because she can instantly turn any bad day into a good day. Now we could not imagine our life without her.